Joining me live now is our political editor, Andrew Clennell. Andrew, your guest coming up is Annika Wells, the Minister for Aged Care. First, though, let's turn our attention to the big news, concerning news for our government and the region around Taiwan. Morning, Kieran. Yes, well, Foreign Minister Penny Wong gave a strong speech on Friday at a meeting of the East Asia Foreign Ministers in Cambodia with the minister feeling she really needed to express the horror of Australia towards the missile tests and other exercises that China has conducted in the Taiwan Strait. And, of course, those exercises came after the visit of US House Speaker Nancy Pelosi to Taiwan. The foreign minister spoke at the forum in the closed-door session of deep concerns about the missile launches, five of which have occurred in Japan's exclusive economic zone. She called them disproportionate excessive and destabilising and called on China to stop, urging restraint and de-escalation. The minister emphasised that there was no change to Australia's One China policy and Australia's support for maintaining the status quo across the Taiwan Strait. And she again called for a following of the international rules-based order, expressing concern about the militarisation of the South China Sea. Overall, the Australian government's approach has been not to comment publicly on the controversial Pelosi visit. But the government is concerned about the activities that have occurred in retaliation and that something might go astray. And the foreign minister wanted to speak up for Japan in particular. The Australian government believes that the US, Australia, Japan and ASEAN countries speaking out against such military moves by China, something which occurred at the forum, serves to show China there is a cost for such action and hopefully can deter Pre President Z, G, should I say, from escalating matters. Australia thinks that given the Pelosi visit, the Chinese reaction was not unexpected, but was over the top, Kieran.